In an open letter to Boeing's, quote, mismanagers, consumer advocate Ralph Nader, who lost his grandniece in one of the 737 MAX crashes, wrote, quote, management was criminally negligent. 346 lives of passengers and crew were lost. You and your team should forfeit your compensation and should resign. Ralph Nader joins us now on the CNBC phone line. Mr. Nader, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Morgan. Uh, the fact that Dennis Mullenberg has been fired over the weekend and David Calhoun is now poised to uh, take on that chief executive role starting next month, your reaction? There are several important things to say. I think the departure of Mr. Mullenberg was precipitated uh, over a week ago when the new head of the FAA, uh, uh, Steve Dixon, uh, basically warned him publicly to stop making rosy predictions about when the 737 MAX was going to be ungrounded and fly again, that it wasn't up to Boeing, it was up to the FAA. And that sort of signaled the end of the rubber stamp era by the FAA and that it was going to start reasserting itself. And that sent an unmistakable message to the board. People should realize that the Boeing is in very deep trouble, not just with the 737 MAX, it's, it's continually in trouble with its contracts with NASA, with the Department of Defense. And what needs to happen at Boeing is a change in the board of directors. The, there's only one person on the board with any aerospace engineering experience. The rest of them are either trophy uh, members of the board or crony members of the board. So what's happening at Boeing is a gradual change of executive leadership. The head of the commercial air transport for Boeing left a few weeks ago. The chief engineer left a few weeks ago. Conscientious engineers are quitting, and some of them are protesting or testifying publicly. So I have no idea, Morgan, uh, what these uh, stock analysts are talking about pushing Boeing up today, because uh, the change in leadership shows Boeing is much deeper trouble than that company has uh, uh, been willing to admit. Do you feel that there's another shoe to drop? I mean, I think the, the, the line from the company up at least until the last couple of days had been that Mullenberg should be, you know, the man in the job, uh, or, and also from the analyst community, that Mullenberg should be the person in the job at least until return to surface happens, uh, given the fact that there's so much going on at the company already. The fact that he is no longer in that position, do you feel that there's more to come out? Oh, yeah. There's more to come out, just like uh, your uh, media and others have uh, reported or dug in and uh, exposed over the months. It keeps getting worse. When you look at what the statements were right after the deadly Ethiopian crash that killed 157 innocents, um, the first thing Mullenberg did was to say the 737 is safe, and he called President Trump and said not to unground it. And at the same time, the head of the FAA, Mr. Elwell, said, uh, parroting Mullenberg, that the 737 MAX was safe. So you can see it's been much more troubling news from Boeing uh, across the board. Uh, Ralph, uh, our colleague Jim Cramer's uh, point this morning is that the company now needs to bring in someone he suggests ex-military with a high level of experience in plane safety to advise and essentially re produce a report that Calhoun can then bless, but that few people are going to believe anything from the company as it exists right now. Would you be satisfied with something like that? No, it's, it's too, uh, too little, too late. They need uh, a new board of directors with experienced people in aerospace, NASA, Department of Defense, civilian transport, uh, human factors, engineering, aerodynamic stability. That's what the board is for. For heaven's sake, they're paying each board member over $300,000 a year plus benefits. I mean, you, you know, what are they getting for it? Just someone sitting around the table at Board of Directors meeting in Chicago shuffling through briefing books? Uh, Jim Cramer's uh, proposal is too little too late. This is a very troubled company, and it's troubled in the key area of engineering, uh, engineering uh, prudence and engineering uh, perfection. Uh, the the, the uh, whistleblowing engineers... Uh, are showing that it isn't just the design of the 737 MAX. It's the production sloppiness and recklessness at their uh, South Carolina plant uh, with the Dreamliner. John Barnett pointed that out, uh, a heralded quality control inspector for Boeing. And, of course, the testimony by uh, Ed Pearson before the House Transportation Committee last week uh, indicating similar sloppy uh, production um, 
experience in uh, the Renton, Washington plant. So this is not just a report here. You got to have a whole a whole crew of very serious, experienced people who put engineering safety and contractual uh, honesty with the federal government first. Yeah, and certainly you're raising questions that uh, have been swirling around this company and for which hopefully, perhaps, we are now on a trajectory to get some better answers. Ralph Nader, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you're it. You're very welcome, Morgan. Thank everybody.